Good morning. Welcome to our devotional time together today. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verses 22 through 25. Now it happened on a certain day that he, Jesus, he got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And a windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. But he said to them, Where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled, saying to one another, Who can this be? For he commands even the winds and water, and they obey him. So here's an interesting snippet, this little story here, this little vignette that Jesus gets with his disciples that go across the lake. Jesus is exhausted from all the day's ministry. He falls asleep right there right there in the boat. And of course, it sounds as though the wind is coming up. It's becoming much more vigorous all the time, but Jesus is asleep in the back. And finally, it has become so vigorous that the disciples are afraid that maybe they're going to lose the, they're going to, maybe we're all going to be thrown out and, and, and drown here in the middle of the storm. So they approach Jesus. We are perishing. We're dying here. We're all this. We're going down. And Jesus simply, of course, stands speaks, calms the water, and after he has calmed the water, asks them that, that terrible question. It's a terrible question. Where is your faith? What's going on with your faith? Why did you think we might perish? You know, if I'm the Messiah and I'm in the boat, don't you think you were like, you know, kind of like extra safe? Where is your faith? And so the response to them is, uh, they're, they're saying, you know, wow, even the winds and the waves obey him. You know, is this, he, he seems like he's everything that we thought he is. Is he, he is the Messiah, isn't he? And so that's a faithful response. But you know what? First, they saw Jesus in action. And greater is the faith. Remember Thomas, doubting Thomas, so-called, you know, how he said, well, I won't believe. He wasn't there when Jesus showed up and, and appeared to them after his crucifixion. He said, I won't believe unless I stick my finger in his side, you know. And when Jesus finally does show up and Thomas is there, he doesn't do that. He just says, uh, my Lord and my God, he just accepts it. There is something to be said here for what the disciples should have done is believed that Jesus was Messiah, even as they were, you know, in the big storm going on. Uh, but instead, they thought they were going to die and woke up Jesus. So the greater faith is the faith that says, God's in control. Everything is whipping around. Yes, it doesn't seem like God's in control, yet God is in control. And so the Father certainly was watching over that boat with Jesus in it, don't you think? So a lesson for us, a question for us, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Let's pray. Father in heaven, we are living in tumultuous times. Our boat is rocking, and it seems like, you know, everything is sort of changing around our ears. Things are not the same way as they were just a few years ago. Uh, help us, Lord. We're going to perish. And yet, Lord, you are in control. You're on your throne. Jesus is very aware and awake. And Lord, we just want to trust in you. And even though things seem intense uh, to us, we know that you are fully in control, Lord, build and create, uh, strengthen our faith in Jesus. We ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, may the Lord strengthen your faith and my faith, even though things are kind of kind of intense here in the boat in these days. God's blessing be upon you.